You're alive. I need some music. I always have music playing in the background. Hello? Is this the same one person that likes to watch but not introduce himself or herself? Say something. Don't be a voyeur. <laughs> no. Hi. Nobody was watching, so I was like, should I even record this? <laughs> It says nobody's watching, but I just got somebody have a comment. Can you hear me okay? Really? I couldn't see you. That's strange. Don't I always have issues with this live? Always have issues. The comments might be delayed. I know. Well, it says that you're the only one on here waking up pretty. <laughs> Did you want to see the empties or should I just record it the good old fashioned way? I just have so much. Maybe, I'll use something. name. What's he trying to tell me? <laughs> Nobody wants to see me live. <laughs> He's telling me to record with the can and go for it. Do you mind that I'm like eating this? It's my favorite candy, I had to have one. <laughs> you know what? It really does feel like one person then is in front of me and I'm just showing you my trash. Okay, what's your what's your real name so I don't have to call you live stream food blogger. Oh, you have to put your channel. Leave a comment or something so I can see it afterwards because I want to go to your blog. Love me some food. So it really is one person in front of me. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully you can hear me good. Okay, so let's go back. I started first with vitamins on my first one. So I'm gonna show you my supplements real quick. Oops. Um, calcium vitamins, these are the ones I get from Costco. I've moved on from this brand. I had two huge tubs of this and I've moved on. So I'm not gonna be purchasing this anymore, but I still take sup, um, calcium as part of my supplements every single day. Next is my Nature's Way Alive Women's Energy Multivitamins. This is my preferred multivitamin that I prefer to take. I take one a day and it just, it's, it's energy. It, it helps with all like the fruits and the vegetables because for me, when it comes to trying to eat a lot of good stuff all at once. If I can get it in a vitamin, if I can get it in some sort of like a fast, like a superfood bag where I just like pour it on top of my salad, I prefer to do it that way because I'm lazy. I don't want to be cutting up all these vegetables and, and kale and spinach and all this other mess. So I just try to keep it simple for myself. That way I will stay on track. <laughs> the next one is from MRM. This is our COQ10. So I take one of these a day too. Do I like that brand, The Nature's Way? I do like Nature's Way. That's probably about my fifth, sixth bottle, if not more, that I've taken. And I like supplements that I take one per day because I take a set in the morning and I take a set during lunchtime. These is for like your immune system and this one is also for just your overall heart health. So what I've done is when I go to my doctor, you know, just for the yearly checkups, 
I always say, what should I be taking or what's kind of best after we do my blood and all that, just to keep everything on track. So what you see like supplement wise is what's kind of good for me with my height, weight, age and so forth. And for being a female. Yeah. You need to get some sort of, some sort of a daily vitamin intake, something going on. That's what I recommend. And if you can get, you know, some assistance from a nutritionist, from your doctor, um, I know that there's even sources you can find online, you know, based on your age and so forth. That would be the best method for you. Royal Brittany. Have you tried the brand HUM? I have not. I have not tried that brand. I buy my vitamins primarily like online on um, iHerb.com. So I go by like what's rated the most, what's viewed the most. Um, and so far that's really been helping me. And I kind of run it by my doctor as well. These are my evening primrose oil pills. If the light's not, there we go. Kind of go boop, boop. Okay, so I take one of these a day. You can take like, I think up to three or four, but I only take one. This really does help. I know, iHerb is a good company. This helps me, especially I take it around lunchtime and it kind of helps, I think, release throughout the day. But it just helps with stress, it helps with anxiety. It just, overall, I just, I love this. So I take one a day, always will take this. Tea. I know I don't talk about tea because I haven't really done like lifestyle type videos on the channel, but this tea I get from iHerb too. Oh. This brand of tea is out of control. This is the Hampstead Tea London. Now this is rose hip and I like the rose hip tea. I have actually in my kitchen, I have like a cabinet and I have a bunch of teas. I have sleepy teas cause I drink like herb tea. I don't drink alcohol. I drink herb tea throughout the day and I drink coffee and water. I drink coffee in the morning, water throughout the day and then tea, herb tea throughout the day. So I'll have like one or two cups of tea. Rose hip is good for your skin. Rose hip is good just for balancing as well. Doesn't taste like an actual flower, tastes very good. But this is my favorite from that iHerb company. This is my favorite tea. And then I have a peppermint tea that I tasted from, I think it's Harvey and Sons. I can get it at Target, what I found out. I gotta get that tea and that probably will be in my empties because oh, that tea is fabulous, absolutely fabulous. If you are like a tea drinker, but herb tea, not any tea with like any caffeine, leave comments and let me know because I love tea. And if you have tea suggestions for like going to bed, like sleepy time type teas, let me know. I'm a coffee and a tea drinker, which is kind of rare because you, you yeah, usually like one or the other. Okay, I'm including this candle in my beauty trash because this is actually, it stays in the filming room. So when I was sitting in front of the mirror <laughs> back in the day, this was kind of burning in the back and I, I burn candles all throughout the house. So I figured I'll just, you know, it's part of the beauty room. So I'll go ahead and keep it. But this is Fifth Avenue. It's a soy blend candle. I'm never buying a soy candle again. I don't know if all soy candles do this, but this whole black mess, this whole smoke and making the walls dark, I don't wanna be painting. I think I'm just gonna keep them white. But this soot, I've had to clean off the walls. It's all around the rim. I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm not buying soy anymore. And my other candles that are not soy do not do this whole black action. So I'm not buying that again. You get yours at TJ Maxx. So, I don't know why it just did that, but I'm not doing it again. A rare hair product. You never really see hair products in my empties because if you've been around a long time, you know I do not do is soot, exactly. Do a lot of stuff to my hair, but I have two hair empties. I might have more depending as I go throughout the bags here. So the first one is a hairspray. This I've had forever and my son finally finished it up because I don't use hairspray. I said, here, use this. He washes his hair every day. You know, guys, how easy it is to wash their hair. So this is from Blow Pro. This is their After Blow Stronghold Finishing Spray. It's got a pure protein blend. 
blocks humidity, prevents frizz. He actually liked this. You envy my hair. Oh, thank you. I envy my son's hair. He has the hair that I want and he, and I have the hair that he wants. My son wants like stick straight, fine hair, which is what I have. And then his hair is like mine, but he has his dad's hair too, which has a bit of a wave to it. He's got like mixed hair, but you know, you never, you never want what you have. So he likes this. But I'm not, I told him I'm not repurchasing this because he needs to use up all the other hairspray that we have in the collection. So he finished this one up for me. And then this is something that, to be honest, I have used on his hair since he was a baby and he's 15 now. And I know, I mean, mixed kids have like the best, just beautiful hair, but they don't want it. They don't want all those curls and just, it's beautiful. But this is something that I've, I've put on his hair since he was a baby. And he's 15 now and he still uses this and he loves this. So this is something he'll probably be an adult and he'll still use this. But this is the Johnson's No More Tangles Detangling Spray. And it just takes away any type of um, frizz you might have in your hair. It makes your hair very like soft and the curls. Oh, his curls look so pretty when I put this on his hair. And he likes it too. So like if you have, um, I remember when he would have stubborn tangles like you know naps in his hair um i put this in and then the comb goes right through so if your kid or your baby or even it doesn't matter it could be an adult anybody can use this and then if we go to the beach or the pool sometimes i put this in my hair too but it works really good so i've already repurchased it again he loves it he primarily uses that and it's something that i guess is my son's holy grail he loves it okay Let's see. Oh, I see another supplement. Okay, let's get this out of here. There's so much stuff in here. Bags and bags and bags. <laughs> okay, I finished the vitamin A. Now, this is a brand that I really like. This is from iHerb as well. This is the vitamin A. So I just take one. So this is for eye and your skin and natural factors. So vitamin A, finish that. I take one a day. So this one is my favorite brand for a vitamin A. What a day. Finally finished a hand cream. Look at how dog-eared this is. I mean, did I not try to get every bit out or did I not try to get every bit out? Look at that. that I'm actually kind of impressed. Looks like, look like I kind of took my car and ran over it. <laughs> this is Colleen Rothschild's restorative hand cream. This hand cream was luxurious. It's, I can't even describe it. Will I repurchase this? Probably not because it is hell of expensive. But I tried to get every bit out. It's non-greasy. It, oh, thank you. I'm glad, you know, it's all about the skin. It's all about the skin. This is non-greasy. If, if this hand cream had SPF in it, I would repurchase. I would repurchase. Rewind what I repurchase. Fast forward. Yes, I would repurchase only if it had an SPF, but there's not. And frankly, where I live, where it is sunny, 365 days out of the year, I need, you know, some protection as I'm driving. But it is a one darn good hand cream. So, can't, oh, it's so good. Just really love it. Done with that. Okay, makeup. This is the makeup bag. Next is the simple, this is the dual effect eye makeup remover. I was pleasantly surprised by this and I do like this. Now this is something I plan on repurchasing after I finish, like I think I have about three, four other bottles. I'm trying to get through all of like my, my products first if I can before I run out and buy stuff. This eye makeup remover, like I said, pleasantly surprised me. Simple brand. I tried one product from them, like when they first started, you know, going out and being all big. And I didn't particularly care for it because it was, what was it? I think it was their wipes, their regular wipes, not their micellular wipes. I forgot what it was. But so I kind of look at this brand. I'm thinking eh, it's probably for people that don't really wear a lot of makeup trying to get everything off. But this is like you shake it up. It's like the Lancome version one. You shake it up. And I mean, it got everything off. Lash glue waterproof mascara, eye makeup, it got everything off. So I was pleasantly surprised. And it is 3.3 ounces, so you can even travel with this on a plane. 
So this is something I'm definitely going to repurchase. Um, highly recommend it. Shocked me because I thought it was going to be crap, but this is something that is really good. I really do like that. I hope I am not going to mess up my carpet up in here. Oh, years ago when they launched, I know. I was like, oh, I'm not going to like simple. Okay, you're getting a preview when it comes to false lashes. I am doing, you know how I'm doing my Back to Basics series? False lashes is coming. You're going to get a preview. These lashes, I go through these lashes enough to probably keep Ardell in business. <laughs> these are my hands down favorite. I can scream it from the rooftops. I love these lashes so much. Look at my face. I'm just getting so passionate, right? I'm getting passionate because I'm telling you, these lashes are number one. If you are, oh, first let me tell you what style it is. This is number 120 Demi Natural, okay? I have used these, I mean, they're rat -a tat tat by now, so that's why I put it back into the case. It's okay, I have a whole drawer full. If you are somebody that is brand new to lashes, you're scared, I mean, I come up to the girls or the guys and I'm, I have a lashes and they're like, ah, no. No, I said, no, no. You put these on and I mean, they transform you. These are the lashes for the beginner, intermediate, advanced. If you are somebody that is not used to like a little bit of drama or you're scared to maybe go to lashes that have some drama, try these. If you're brand new, you're like, I'm scared, I don't know how to put on lashes, try these. If you have a professional job, you work in a professional environment, corporate America, try these. These fit into every situation. It gives you a little bit of drama, a little bit of drama, but enough where people are like, you look pretty, not damn. Look at those lashes. I'm telling you, these are fantastic. So especially for brides, depends on the bride. If she wants to be a little bit, you know, extra or whatnot. I always give everybody, I give them here, have it. They're absolutely fantastic. They're lightweight. They stay on your lash line. They're not uncomfortable. That's why I love to give them for beginners because you're not gonna, you're gonna feel it at first, but you're gonna go about your day and not feel irritated. I'm telling you, these are the number one top lashes. I have got to keep them in business because I buy these by the bulk. And you can cut them up and use them as individuals. They're absolutely fantastic. If you do anything for false lashes, get number 120. Holy Grail ultimate favorite. And a lot of times in my thumbnails or just in random videos, I'm always wearing those. They're super easy. Bloop, put them on. Okay, this I am letting go of. This is from BH Cosmetics, and this is their corrector and concealer, six color in the shade dark. Now, I've already decluttered my concealer collection already, but I'm going back, like as I'm decluttering each section again and then filming it, I'm kind of going back and decluttering some more, which is okay. So I've had this for quite some time. As you can see, I've already started to hit pan and I'm, I'm pretty much done with this because it's already so hard to get the product out in the way that it sets on the skin. I'm done with it. I'm fortunate enough to have skin texture where when I put stuff on, it immediately tells me when stuff starts to peel, when stuff is dry, I can immediately see it. So this is already, it's dried out, it's just, no. And I'm actually not gonna repurchase it because it's drama trying to order this online. I just I'm not gonna deal with it anymore. So you get six pans. The best like star of this whole kit was the corrector, this like dark, peach pink down here. And then I used this shade down here for my brows and that was my skin tone shade. I never really used this for contour because this was a little bit way too dark red for me. And I just kind of dabbled a little in this, but if they sold these two pans by themselves, I probably would go ahead and, and buy it, but I'm done. I'm done with BH. So not repurchasing that. I had an eyebrow brush that is pretty much lost its course. But this is kind of funny because this is like, you know, the Jasmine. If you go to Walgreens, I'm already playing with this. It's about to pop right out. Um, if you go to Walgreens, they have like the little Cinderella, the little Disney princesses. And this was the Jasmine set. And it served its purpose when it was new. It's a really nice synthetic brush hair 
kind of dense pack and it applied the uh, dip brow, ABH dip brow really well and then the spoolie, but it's pretty much, it's done. When the hairs start going every way, it's done. Okay, I've got three mascaras that I finished, actually two and then a lip primer. This is from Too Faced. This is their lip insurance. It's the smoothing, anti-feathering, and it's a lip primer. I do like this, though this was just like a deluxe size sample. It has a doe foot applicator. I feel that this does help prime the lips, especially if you're going to use like a liquid lipstick. I'm a lipstick person where it doesn't really matter to me. It can stay on all day or I can reapply it. I prefer personally to reapply it throughout the day because that's how I go through my lip products. If you don't reapply it, you know, how are you supposed to go, go th and finish it up? So that's a really good um, lip primer. And I actually have a full size one too. So that's the one I'm, I cracked open when I'm done. And then I have two mascaras. Now, one I like, this is the Urban Decay Perversion. I do like the wand on this one. Works top both lashes, top lashes, bottom lashes. It has like that semi... I almost said like bumblebee effect. It's just, when I think of a bumblebee, I think like a bumblebee butt. I think of like the Dior, that really big brush. It's like a medium sized version of that. So it really coats the lashes, but it's already dried out pretty well. This is a mascara. The perversion's good when it's like a new. It's a mascara that's not good when it starts drying out. Like some mascaras were good when it's dry. I don't feel perversion is like that. And then this is Origins. It's their Gen Zing Brightening Mascara to lengthen and lift. I don't know the whole brightening claims, so I don't know what that's supposed to be because this is a very rich, dark black shade and there's no like gloss look to it. There's nothing to make it warrant why the heck it says brightening. I didn't really understand that. And it didn't really do anything. Origins is like a natural based company. So maybe for somebody that wants natural looking lashes or you know, you already have big, full, thick, fluffy lashes. Oh, hello. Lucky you, I don't have that. But just wasn't just wasn't impressed by that. Okay, moving on to skincare. Getting all excited again. <laughs> First step, holy grail toner. If you've been around, you already know this is like number one AM toner. Ooh, the light. The light, the light. Oh, there it is. It gets two hands because it's like that special. Neutrogena pore toner. Cleans your pores out. This keeps it clean, gets the dirt, grimes out. You got blackheads, this will clean it out. Hard to extract it, this will clean it out. You've got whiteheads, this will clean it out. This, I have, I have raved so much on this darn channel until I'm blue in the face, but I'm keep on doing it. It is so good for your skin. It's got the acids, ABH, glycolic in it, oh, ABH, ABA, and glycolic is just, perfect for skin renewal. This is the toner. If you haven't tried it, try it. You'll love it. It is. It's a good toner. Okay, next is a Korean essence. Now, this I picked up from Birchbox. It's the Water Rest from Goodall. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it's their first essence. I'm no longer a subscriber of Birchbox, right? Hi, Danielle. I told you. Did you get it because I told you to? <laughs> that toner is the best toner. Um, so I was a member of Birchbox, canceled it, and I had like a like a 30 or something dollar credit. So I picked this up just to try it. And I believe this brand now is sold at Walmart. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it is. It's okay. It's not as hydrating as I would say other essences that I'm used to using as far as a first treatment essence toner, which is like a... Like a, it's a concentrated liquid and it's going to give you whatever it is that skin condition you're trying to battle. So for me, this one was just hydration. I just was curious about it, but I usually kind of will use a first essence for either hydration or for brightening the skin. So it's not something I personally am going to spend my money on moving forward. I missed your comment if you wanna redo it again. This one is from Derma E. This is a serum I finished up. See when it's white, it's kind of hard to see it. This is the hydrating serum and it's got hyaluronic acid. Now, this one is like, okay, when it comes 
for me, this is me, what I prefer in the texture of a serum, I prefer it to be like a liquidy type version of a serum, like what you would see a serum's typical texture to be, like see-through, so to speak. This one is more of like a lotion version and it feels like stickier on the skin and a little bit tacky and that I don't care for. So this isn't something I personally am going to purchase or ask again. I sometimes get Derma E sent to me like here or there because they know I, I am obsessed with skincare. But put it this way, I also get Perlis. And with Perlis, I will actually go to their website and actually purchase my own money even after getting products sent to me. This, no, I'm not gonna do that. So take it like that. <laughs> Next is Clinique. I've already repurchased this. This is their Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. This is their Solistic Acid. Now, I'm older than quite a few of you that are already watching, that are watching me. So I pretty much have tried every acne medication to you know, bring the white head, bring that pimple to surface since high school or junior high school. And the best one, and that one has been around since the dawn of time, has been this. Now, it used to, way back in the day, be a totally different bottle design. This is like the new design. You're 42, I just turned 41. So, oh my gosh, one year, a oh, 43, oh my gosh. It's funny because I look at my um, demographics and they say like 13 to 24 are, the, are like my top ages. So I never really think anybody my age is even looking at me. <laughs> well, good, I've got, I've got the 40 year old club in here. You know what? We're all walking holograms, that's why you're here. I'm gonna take care of your skin, I'm taking care of my skin and we're all gonna look ageless and we're all gonna look like beautiful walking holograms. As far as I'm concerned, stick with me, I'm not gonna steer you wrong. And pretty much this is what's going into that whole you know, thought process as far as um, with your pimples. This is, I feel, the number one acne medication that you can put on, salicystic acid wise, put it on your pimple and your pimple is gonna react to it. Now, it is kind of up there in price. It used to be about $17 and then the giant size was about 24. Well, this is what they consider a giant. And it is, what size is it? One fluid ounce. But it's 20, yeah, $24 now and then it used to be 17. I, I paid the price because I didn't care because I knew already that this is to me, I feel the number one topical solution that you can put on. You can go to, it's like dermatologist strength. Um, you can get stuff from the drugstore, try them all. Um, I've used the Kate Somerville, the where you dip it in the sulfur, tried it, didn't work. Um, Mario Badescu, tried it, didn't work. It's just, it's also gonna be like a personal preference too. So if you go to Sephora, ask for a sample of this, like get three of the little things and just see, put it on your pimple, See if your skin reacts to it. If your skin reacts to it, because mine reacts like that night. If it reacts to it, pay the money, get it. It's the best, number one. Speaking number one, this, the acne solution. If you got, you know, pimples. So, you know, put it on the pimple to help bring it to the surface. You know, your whitehead, blackhead, that works, number one. This was my very first number one sleepy mask. My very first sleepy mask like I was introduced to Korean skincare, this is my number one. First one, finished it, and it's still, I would say it's probably still like in the top three because I've moved on and have used other sleeping masks, but it's still right up there. First of all, it's really deep, which you can't really see because it's white too. But I mean, this, this is just a sleeping mask that just gives so much hydration, it's not even funny. And it's just, it's so good. And it's lightweight, you can put it on, and it's just, I don't even know how it gives so much hydration, but it's really good. It's the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask, if I did not say what it is. Just, I really, really love that mask. That's something that I personally will go out again and repurchase. I do have a lot more sleeping masks, like little small ones that came in, like gift sets and stuff, so I'm finishing those up. Yes, Althea, yes, and they do sell Laneige on there, but that is one that I'm definitely gonna repurchase. Now this one is a deluxe sample, so this is enough to use like in a month's worth to see if I like it. It's from Estee Lauder, it's their Enlighten. Now this is a dark spot correcting serum. 
it did nothing for my dark spots and I did have this for about a good month because it's enough in there to get it out. You know, there's no container, boom, 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 put it in your palm, put it on the dark mark, go to bed, go about your day. I was even trying to use it AM it too, just it didn't really work. So that's something I'm gonna buy. Yes, you can get a good month out of this or at least I did. You don't need a lot, just you know, dab it on your dark mark. Now this is another item from Derma E. It's their Purifying Toner Mist. This has uh, marine algae and green tea. I remember this came in a skincare set I purchased from um, like Ipsy when they have their brand deals. Nothing I'm going to repurchase, just you know, using it up. Oh, another hair product. What is this? Bumble and Bumble. I love Bumble and Bumble brand. Now, this is their grooming cream. I use this a little bit, only when I would actually style my hair. So the day that I would actually wash my hair, blow dry, flat iron, I put this like around the edges. I use this, and then my son uses this too. This is another product that works good if you've got curls, you've got waves, it kind of makes those waves, everything really, um, you know, just less frizz and everything. He really likes that. But we need to use up everything else before I can repurchase anything for him. Now, this he actually used as well, but he didn't like it. This is the Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System. It's from Shea Moisture. Now, Shea Moisture, I have to be very careful with because I've used their foundation and it broke me out. And then I used another hair product from them and because of the oil that was in it, it made my hair so heavy, I had to wash my hair out again like to get that oil out. So I'm really hesitant to use their hair products again, but he didn't like this and I don't know why because he's got curls and you know, guys usually don't kind of complain like, oh, you know, but he's all like, I hated it, I hate it. I don't like it. He tells me that after he's done with it, oh, I hate it, but he used to that. And these are the cotton pads that Usually I get from Daiso, I get specific cotton pads that have like, it's all white and you like their blushes. I actually have their bronzer that I use as contour and that doesn't break me out. But yeah, I gotta be careful with that brand. But um, this is just another version of cotton pads I pick up at Daiso, it's my Japanese dollar store. Yeah, if a boy complains about a product, you know it. exactly. But he finished it up. And then he complained, but there's like a little slit in here too, which I thought it was funny. He probably was trying to poke a hole, probably trying to like, you know, drain it down his bathroom and tub and he's like, oh, she won't know. <laughs> yeah, I found it. So these are just cotton pads. These worked fine. Um, I'm having trouble trying to find my cotton pads at Daiso that I really like. And I buy them in bulk. So I have another bag too, because my son uses cotton pads too. I got him using the toner. My son uses this toner too. And then he uses the cotton pads. So I have to buy them in bulk so we can finish them up together. But he doesn't use mom's cotton pads. I have like my Shiseido, no, he's not using those. <laughs> When he can buy them himself, he can. he's welcome to use it. Okay, this was on the bottom of the bag. This is from e.l.f. It's their Illuminating Eye Cream, and I did not even finish it. I wish it was not white inside so you can see it. Let me kind of go back. Can you see that? Okay, I won an e.l.f. contest just like on Instagram, and I, I, I just used it one time. No, I have not used that mask yet from Estee. This eye cream is absolute crap. Absolute crap. It's, uh, it's crappy enough that I don't even want to use any of their skincare products. Yeah, I'm real salty about with e.l.f. now. But this is their illuminating eye cream. And why I don't like this eye cream, it looks like a regular, you know, regular eye cream, white cream. But when I put it on underneath my eyes, it has like a slight like sting. We're talking slight sting, but it's just, it doesn't feel like an irritated sting, like, ooh, I'm allergic. It's just slight sting, like a cooling type sting. Maybe that's not even the right word to describe it. But it also has like, like glitter in it, like glitter chunks. And I can see it, it's apparent on my skin because my skin is darker. If you have lighter skin tones, you know, you're white or whatnot, maybe it's not gonna show up that much on you, but on me it did. And I was like, here we go again. Why are cosmetic companies adding 
glitter to skincare products. Add the actual ingredient if you want it to look more radiant on that person's skin. It's just a waste of time to put a, cosmetic, a makeup product in skincare. No. So I'm not even gonna finish it, I'm just gonna throw it away. I want nothing to do with it. And I just really don't wanna, I, I don't wanna use the rest of their skincare products. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not happy with the ingredients. So, moving on, by Elf. Okay, some sheet masks. Of course, my Perlice, I finished, what is this, three of them? Yep, I finished three from Perlice. I purchased these myself. So, if you ever kinda wonder, like, if, influencers get our youtubers get you know pr you know we get it and then it's not like it comes fake radiance yeah it is insulting it's not like well i don't know how the other girls or guys get it with me at least it doesn't come you know too often but it also doesn't come like on a regular basis so if i like the product i will go back to the website and i'll just I'll buy more. So that's what I do. I, I like their sheet mask and I, now I just purchase it on my own. If they like to send me some, that's great. I don't call them. I don't email them and say, hey, you know, send me product. If I run out, you know, I just go pick them up just like any other person off the street because I really do. I really love their sheet mask. That was like my favorite sheet mask of last year as well. And then this one is the uh, Avatara. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's the Drink Up Face Mask. It's a tall glass of water for your skin. This mask I picked up at Target. I noticed in the Asian section of their skincare side, they had these masks. And I believe this is made, oh, this is made in Taiwan. This is what surprised me because I had a different Taiwanese mask. And no, I haven't tried the Estee Lauder Power Foil Mask. No, I haven't tried that one. The other mask I have from uh, just, I mean, it was just drenched my skin and, and just all kind of stuff coming dribbling everywhere and it, I, I just didn't want to deal with it. But I tried this one at Target, it's $3 and I mean, this one is fantastic. It feels, the cotton is so nice and it fits on my face and it's saturated enough but it's not like dribbling all over the place. Like I can go about and do things and I really, really like this. I'm gonna pick up some more of those. Those are at Target in the mask section. And then I have another mask. This is my Borgesa. This is the Active Mud for Delicate Dry Skin. So I have like a Christmas set I got that had like four or five different masks in it. This is part of that set. I love Borgesa. I've used Borge Borgesa ever since I was a kid as well. So when I kind of see it at Kohl's here and there, I like to pick it up. Fabulous, fabulous mask. I do a mask every night. I just rotate. So, you know, when it was time to do that, finished it up. And then my reach. Now, the only reason why I'm using, I'm telling you guys about this dental floss is because, and I saved it, is because I had to change my dental floss. Now, I did a video on how I keep my teeth white. Um, trying to think when I did it. It's like weeks, months or so ago. And because you guys were asking how I keep my teeth white. And I'm the type of person that I do floss every day, but I have extremely tight teeth. So I always use the same dental floss. Like on the flip side, I, I seriously hate having the tightest teeth. It's, it's so flipping annoying because it's like, Ugh, you know, trying to get up there with regular dental floss. So I always use Glide, because it just went right in, boom, 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 and done, and I was over with. However, when I went to go to the dentist to get my teeth, you know, my regular six month cleaning, and they're looking at my x-ray, and yeah, extremely tight teeth, like, ugh. So I, they were looking at my x-rays, I never have any cavities at all, but he's all saying, well, you know, you have more plaque here, you have more plaque there. And he told me, he's like, you need to use regular dental floss. So he recommended this. And, and then, okay, you know, if you get your teeth clean, they, they come, like they, the dentist will uh, clean your teeth and he leaves, homeboy leaves, and then homegirl comes in and grabs the dental floss and then goes in really tight. And I was like pushing her away like, I almost said the B word. I was like, stop. You know, she was digging. She was digging in my gum. And she told me, use this floss. And then you'll start to get used to that feeling of really going down deep into your gum. And it will pull the food up. So it's, it's good to have tight teeth because it's harder for the food to get caught in the pockets. But it's hard. So I said, okay, 
So I bought some of the Reach because I never wanted to go through that again. I didn't want somebody go dig it in my mouth anymore. So I said, I'll buy the, I'll buy the dental floss. So I wanted to let you guys know, <laughs> you have more, con oh, I pushed her. I was like, okay, if you dig one more time, <laughs> I'm about to sock you. But I just didn't want to go through that again. So I'm only letting you guys know because I did that video and I showed how that's the only dental floss. So now I've switched, I've switched to this and this is like my favorite one moving forward. So what I've been doing is there is a difference if I'm doing it. I, I get this, when this can go through my tooth and it's looser now so I can feel it, I go all the way down and it does. I go up and I mean, I can see all the extra food that comes out that I wasn't seeing with the other dental floss from that video. So I do like this, it's the Reach and I just pick it up at Target or Walmart whenever I'm there. It's inexpensive and hopefully when I go back, to the dentist in the fall. He's gonna see a difference in my mouth, less plaque. And when homegirl comes to uh, floss my teeth, I'm not gonna be you know, ready to sock her ass because they, they, they're they digging. Stop, enough, 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 enough. Okay, another bag and we're done. We're almost done here. Okay, simple foaming cleanser. Now this is my son's foaming cleanser. He likes this brand so I've already picked him up another one and it's just a basic he's a teenager by the way I think I don't know if I admit it that he's 15 but this is his favorite face wash so mom pick me up that simple so I picked him up that and then this is my witch hazel Dickinson's original witch hazel 100% all natural toner I was using this prior to the toner I'm using now in the evening, so I finished this up. When I want to use a Witch Hazel version toner, this is the one I like, the pore perfecting one. It's kind of similar to the Neutrogena, but it's not obviously as acid as Neutrogena, which I consider like to be an, a, a nice active one. But that one does, it does its job. And two wipes here. I have probably about six more packets of wipes I need to get through, so I'm trying to stop myself from having to buy some more. This is from CoverGirl, they had them on clearance. I can see why this was on clearance for like $2. It's absolute, absolute garbage. It's like rubbing, I, I don't know, some kitchen cleaner on your face. It's the hardest, scratchiest, uncomfortable cotton I've ever felt. I just couldn't stand it. So I think after a couple wipes, I just said forget this and I just used it to take the um, the swatches off my hands. No, more nothing to do with it. And I wouldn't recommend picking those up at all. And then these are from Ole Hendrickson. This is just, whoops, there goes the cleanser. This is the Truth To Go All Skin Types Gentle Moisturizing Cleansing Wipes. I picked these up from Marshalls for $3. This is just for people that barely wear any makeup or you're not wearing makeup that day, but you want to get, you know, sunscreen, dirt, grime. I still recommend that even if you don't wear makeup, before you wash your face, pull a wipe, pull some micellular water, get the get that day's worth off your face, even if you're not wearing any makeup. And so that's pretty much what those are for. Another pearlice. Here are the wipes. These wipes. Here we go. Simple blew me away. I have to seriously stop myself from repurchasing this pack again because like I said, I got all these other ones I need to get through. And then I can buy this again. This, these wipes really impressed me. When I was wearing a few times, I was wearing some pretty heavier makeup. And then I just use this. This is my cellular version. So it has to be because of that. I mean, this got every last scrap of makeup off. And then I washed my face again, double cleanse. Absolutely fantastic. If you haven't tried these, try them. They are fabulous. I'm, try I'm trying to stop myself from buying another one. But if I see it on sale, that's probably gonna justify it. <laughs> Another supplement, sorry, this kind of just snuck its way in, but these are my favorite RX Omega. Three vitamins, this is the EPA and the DHA, Natural Factor, that's my favorite brand. So I've already, onto a new bottle, fresh bottle. Picked this one up from iHerb. Favorite, favorite brand, favorite version as far as to get, you know, your Omega-3 fish oils and so forth in your diet. 
This is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray, Aloe Rose Water. I've been using this well before it got to be like, it's blown up everywhere. Everyone's using them for their makeup. I, I've used it for the makeup, but I also use it for like toner purposes, spray it on my face. I take it with me to travel, but like the travel version one, that's okay to take on a plane. It's fabulous, fabulous for multiple reasons. I've already, I probably have like maybe about three, four in my cabinet over there, just love it. This is another favorite Korean cleanser. This is from the brand Sum 37. This is their Milka Rose Cleansing Stick. So just get, going through all my um, cleansers right now. Can't repurchase this yet. I still have just a tiny bit left in there, but letting it go. Oh, it smells so good. It's got the roses inside. Sum 37 is what you would consider, oh, it just twists up, twists up like, remember that, remember that ice cream from the ice cream truck back in the day? Ding, 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 you know, he'd, he'd come and that ice cream that you push up. This is like that too, it pushes up like that. I don't know why, it just reminded me of that. And it's got the little bits of the rose in it too, that special rose, but it foams up really good, just a little bit is needed. Gets all the makeup off your face if you don't want to double cleanse. It works good for that. Okay, Tarte. Big old bottle of the Pure Maracuja Oil. Now, usually Ulta will have this oil like on sale several times throughout the year. That's why I buy it. It's like, I think half off. So it's $25 for this full size, the big dropper. And I just do one drop full at night put it in my hand. So it's part of my evening skincare routine, but it's the facial oil that I use. Now, I've been studying this oil for quite some time. So moving forward, I've decided I'm not buying this, but I'm doing a video on facial oils. I'll kind of explain why I'm not, but this is like my, I think it's my last bottle. Yeah, it's my last bottle because I had like two. So whenever Ulta had it sell, I would buy it, but I'm not buying it anymore. And in the video, I will tell you why and then the specific oils that I'm getting moving forward. Now this is the Egg Pure. This is the Blackhead Steam Balm. I think this is Tony Moly. Yep, Tony Moly. Look at how cute this little egg is. Isn't that cute? So just use that up at night. This is just one of my rotating masks. This isn't something I'm going to repurchase though. This is, I think, best for people that really have blackheads. I actually have never had a blackhead on my face, ever. I know, never. So I think this is probably best for people that have that, they need that extraction. I don't, so we're just kind of, you know, using it up. This is um, another deluxe sample. This is the Glam Glow. It is their Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. This I do like. So I think this came in my Ipsy bag whenever they have it. Like it. This is something I could see myself purchasing a full size of once I get through all my masks as well. Neosporin. Why is Neosporin in her beauty empties? I'm gonna tell you. Um, this is part of my acne skin healing routine. So if I do have an active breakout, let's say I have, it's red, you know, there's some redness around it. I will put this on to kind of help heal it. I will ice it first and then I'll put this on. And if I have a, a broken skin, just like cuts and bruises, first aid, I put it on. It will just help the skin not only heal, but it helps it so it doesn't get as dark, you know, black as it's going to turn. That's all, that's why I use it. Also, if I have a lot of hormonal acne breakouts going out or I've accidentally had some coconut, um, a product and then I have all those little bumps, I'll put this on and it really calms it. So it has multiple uses. I use it more for skincare than I do for first aid, to be honest. Um, this is from Dr. G. This is their brightening peeling gel. And this is, can you see it? It's so small. This came in a little set that they had sent me because they were, they had like this big Korean booth at Gen Beauty. So I've gotten a couple of items from them. And this is actually a good peel. I do use exfoliation. I do like exfoliation products in the morning and I rotate th through those as well. So I will pop in a peel here and there. This is a peel that I think the texture of it is certainly different. I've noticed from other peels that are, I would say more Western American type peels. This one is the texture is almost kind of like, it's not a lotion, but it's kind of like in the between like a liquidy lotion, 
watery type. And you put it on, and I leave it on for maybe about five minutes, you know, making breakfast, making coffee. And then I go back to the sink and I start to rub it in. I'll like wet my hands a little bit. And I mean, you can just see the dead skin just starting to peel up and just like, just goes right down. Just, it's fabulous. I mean, your skin is like baby, baby smooth. And I believe Dr. G, you can pick this up at Walmart now. So just check your local Walmart. And I have another bag inside another bag. And this is makeup. Go figure. Okay, let's make some room here. Get the skincare out, and then we're going to uh, end it with some makeup. And then everybody can go have dinner. Or if you're on the West Coast, you can go have dinner. East Coast, you've already had your dinner. Around the world. Oh, I see more lashes in here. Let's see what I got up in this bag. I've got two sponges here. Okay, one is the beauty blender, I can tell. <laughs> this is the, whoa, the black beauty blender. I like the black beauty blender. I still like the pink, but the black one is like getting right up neck and neck with that pink. I do like the black. So I have already replaced those, the beauty blender. This sponge, I don't remember the brand, but I remember the kit that it came in. It came in a set of two sponges that I got through the Ipsy brand deal that they have every day. I don't remember the name. I think it's like Beauty something. This is not something I would repurchase. I do remember that. It's still a little bit hard once you get it wet, but it's, it's, it's lost its course already and it's already split. And then the black one too, it's already split and it's got foundation and stuff in it, so. It's time, you know, if you take care of your beauty blenders, like I wash mine after I use it and I set it out to dry. If you wash them right after, like the same day that you use them, set them out. Mine lasts, like we're talking close to about six months, if not a little bit longer. They, they, I do, I stretch that, I stretch that puppy out. So they are definitely worth the, the cost. Okay, I've got three lashes here. So the first one is from the, these are the store brand from the Makeup Shack. Makeup Shack has a website, but um, the store is close to me because I have, where I happen to live, they're, they're near me as well in Orange County. And their lashes are made in Indonesia. And this is just says Wispy. This does remind me, that's why I got it. It says D Wispy. They remind me of the Ardells the 120s. That's probably why I like these so much. But they're a little bit longer and they flare out a little bit more, like they go up a little bit more. So this adds a little bit more drama than the 120, but these are, these are good. I like those. Okay, haha, -ha. another Ardell 120. So I finished those. Those have definitely lost its course. Okay, this is Coco, Coco Lashes. I am never buying this style again for me. I'm not buying this. They may look good on other people. They just do not look good on me. I don't like how my eyes, are you gonna come out? I don't like how my eyes look with these. Okay, we'll just keep that one in there. This style, let me stick it on there. This style is cut where it's got the big chunks, short, long, short, long. So they're pretty thick and they're pretty spacey. Salon Perfect 615. Leave a comment, please. Leave me a comment. I wanna go check those out. I love lash recommendations. I just don't like this style on my on my eyes. They don't look good with hooded eyes. They just don't look good. Smaller eyes, they just don't look good on me. The Misha style. So this isn't style, I'm not getting these anymore. I haven't been able to find a Coco style that works good for hooded eyes and that are smaller. I just, I haven't, I haven't found them. Maybe that's not the brand for me. Okay. Now I have three concealers. Oh, your comment just disappeared. I have three concealers. Now, two are, two has never been open. And I'm gonna have to, oh my God, I can't believe I wasted these. I'm gonna have to let these go. I have had this for, you know, I'm, I'm, re, I'm decluttering again, the concealers and stuff. Okay, you have hooded eyes too. Okay, so Salon Perfect, I think you said 615 if I said that right. Okay, so I have one already that I've used and it's dried out because it's pretty old. It's almost done, but I mean, it's dried out. It's pretty old. And it's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. This is an N6, 7, and 8. It's already 
um, no, it's just too dry. And I've had this for too long. I don't think I should use these. That's why they're in here. I've just, I've had it for too long. Even though I haven't used them yet, I just, I just feel they're just not going to, I don't know, maybe I should donate these. They're sealed. I mean, I haven't used them. I feel bad about donating old makeup, even if I haven't used it, because what if somebody uses it and it's, you know, it's just horrible. I don't know. Maybe I should, I leave a comment in one of your videos about the lashes. Okay, thank you. I'll ask, I'll ask the shelters if they care about the age because that's sealed. So yeah. maybe, maybe they don't care. Maybe somebody would want it. This is dirt donated. Okay. Yeah. Cause they're sealed. And I'm thinking, I don't want to throw it in the trash cause it's like sealed, but it's old. They'll get use out of it. Okay. This is from Revlon's Nearly Naked. This is their Nearly Naked foundation. I really like this. It's like the uh, Urban Decay Naked foundation. Um, use this. It's maybe about up to there, but, um, it's 260 caramels, my shade, and I do need to kind of throw it away already, even though I did use some of it, but I'm not going to donate this because I even wrote it. I don't know why. Oh, donate it. Okay. I will. I will donate it. Thank you. I wrote, I don't know why I wrote it <laughs> on the side. I wrote the date. I wrote quarter, <laughs> fourth quarter. Oh, I'm so funny. I wrote fourth quarter 2013. I think it's about time to throw this one away, but I did use it, so I'm not donating that. And these are two uh, Dream Fresh BB creams. These are sealed as well. Have not used them. I bought these around the same time as those concealers. That's why I'm saying, well, maybe I should throw these away too. I have not used them, but they're BB creams in the shade dark, and I will donate these two as well. So, boop. To an actual shelter, not to family or friends. No, I'm going to actually give those to a shelter. And then this I did finish. This is Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Out of Tarte's whole lash mascara lineup, this is my favorite one. Oh, I know, because I finished, I finished one before. God, you've been around for a while waking up pretty. Thank you, appreciate that. I do like this brush. This works good. Bottom top lashes. I have full size versions of the Tarte Lash ca uh, Lights Camera Lashes. Love their mascara. That is one of my favorite ones from that brand. All done. I can finally throw all that mess away. And if you don't have any questions, thank you for watching. It's a long one again, 57 minutes. I talk more <laughs> during these live feeds. Everyone left us, I know. Well, that's okay. They can rewatch it or whenever they want to come back. But thank you for staying around this long. Um, thank you for watching and going through all my beauty trash. Next month, it's going to be much less than that because I did not hoard two bags, but um, I do. I have a lot, so I apologize for that. But thank you for watching. Um, it's dinner time now. So hear about your masking. Yes, masking. I will be going through that. The masking will be part of my evening skincare routine. So I've already filmed the AM and the sheet mask. I've already filmed the AM routine. Oh, it didn't seem that long, I know, it just goes. And then the PM routine is when I actually do my mask. So I will pull in the mask, I'll show how I store them and I'll pull them in and we'll go quickly through the mask and why I use them, I'm trying to go through my stuff and we'll go from there. So that's the evening PM routine and why I do a mask every day as well or every night. So, and if I don't do a mask, like a regular mask, I do a, sh a sleeping mask to go to bed. So I do some form of a mask. You're quiet just watching. Oh, thank you. Well, thanks for the live video suggestion about, you know, doing it again because I don't even know how to edit because that was a lot. That's, that was going to be a lot to edit. So I'm glad. Alrighty, everybody. Thanks for watching. I got to go get the stuff out of the dryer. Got to fold laundry. I've got finished dinner. Do all that stuff. So thank you for watching. Leave comments, especially leave comments about your favorite lashes. Especially if you wear cocoa, what good style is for hooded eyes? Leave suggestions for that. Leave recommendations for what you'd like to see for live again. If you want to see declutter, whatever, get ready with me. 
leave a suggestion what you'd like to see live again. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day or wonderful night and I will see you in the next video. Bye.